We have made it so easy to add high performance, beautiful video pop-ups to your website. Let me show you two examples. Here's a page and I scroll down and I've added a video pop-up to this button. I click on the button, the video appears, it automatically plays, it's perfect. Now to get out of this, all you have to do is hit escape on your keyboard or you can click the X in the top right or you can just click outside of the video like this and the video goes away, the video stops playing. That's example number one and here's another example. I have an image here and I can click on the image and there's this play button. I'll show you how to do some neat things with that. I'll click on this and there's that video again playing all automatically and this time I'm going to hit the escape key and the video just goes away. Video pop-ups keep people on your website for longer. It's a key signal to search engines that your website is one where people visit and they stay there for a while. It's called dwell time and it's very good for your rankings. That said, let me show you how to create your first video pop-up using Presto Player. I'm now in the editor for that page you saw me on. I'll scroll down and here is that video pop-up and the trigger happens to be a button. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this and delete it entirely off my page. Next, I'll click on the plus here on the top left and I will type Presto. And there it is, and here it is, Presto pop-up, and I'll drag this anywhere I want in my layout, and I just want it to be right here underneath this bit of text. The first question you need to decide is what do you want the trigger to be? You can choose an image, a button, or custom. Custom is a little bit more advanced, and anything can be the trigger, but I'm gonna choose button. So I'll click on this. The next option is to choose the video. You can add a video here or select media already in your media hub. And this is the video that I have already added called Day Spa Tour. So I'm gonna choose that. Now the video player is already gonna inherit your settings and your styling. You can see I have this gold play button. First, let's customize this button here at the top. I'll click on it and I can change the text by just double clicking and putting in whatever I want. And over here on the right, you have styling options, the width of the button, you can have some different attributes for the button right here, and there's styling in this second tab, so you can make this button look how you want it to look, but it's set up to inherit the styles of your website. The only thing I wanna do is change the alignment, and you can see the alignment options are here in this top toolbar. So I'm gonna click right here, where it says align, and this is the option I want. I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna choose justify items in the center. And now my button's moved into the center exactly where I want it. Now when this is added, you'll also notice underneath it, you get this tiny preview of the media you've selected, but you don't have to always show this if you're constantly editing your page. There's this icon here to make it hide or show. Once you're done editing everything, you can hide it like this, or you can click on it to show. It's entirely up to you. So now I'm gonna click on save and let's check out this new Presto pop-up that I created. I'll scroll down, here it is, watch this video. I click on it and there my video is. I didn't have to do any complex configuration or setting up, it just works very easy to set up. Now let me show you how to do this type of pop-up where the image is the trigger and you have this play button. I'm back on the same page, I'm gonna scroll down. I'll click right here on the pop up itself and I'm gonna click on delete and it's gone, but let's go ahead and re-add it. I'll click on the plus and you can search for Presto pop-up, but if you've used it before, it might appear in this box. Here it is, I'll click on Presto pop-up. This time I'm gonna choose image and I'll choose that same media, I'll click on select media. Here it is, I'll choose the media and then the next step is to choose the image what someone clicks on to show the pop-up. So I'm gonna click on add select image and you can add a custom image to your media library. I'll just go ahead and choose one of these massage looking images like that. I'll click on select and it's been added. So what you could do is click on the image and then over here on the right, you have all these configuration options. How tall do you want it? How wide do you want it? So I know for this layout to match what I had, I need to do 600 by 400. 
That's just gonna add some height to the image. Then I'll click on styling. I'm not gonna change anything with the styling, except I want to remove the, ra the border radius around the image so it has sharp corners. You also might want to try doing something with the overlay. This is how you can change the appearance of the image. So if I wanted something a little bit more branded, I could do that and then I can adjust down this opacity. It's entirely up to you. I probably just butchered my image. And then the last thing you'll wanna do is click on the play icon and you can even adjust this. So if I wanted to make this a little larger or have a custom image, I can choose a custom image right here, but if I wanted to, I can just drag one of these corners and now I have a really big play button and I can start customizing it, including its style. But there's one more cool trick. So if I click back on the image, you'll see this grid right here in the toolbar. It says change content position. So if I did not want this play button in the center center, I can move it. I can click here and say I wanted it on the bottom right hand corner. That's all there is to moving it. You'd want this control if there's something in the image that the play button would have been covering. So you have the ability to move this play icon wherever you'd like it. All right, let's go ahead and click on save and try this one out. I'll scroll down, here it is. Oops, looks like I have to adjust something with the height. I'll click on play and there is my video pop-up and you can see how we have the image and we have the play icon there in the bottom right. Okay, I had to go back and fix that because it would have bothered me not having it be the height that I wanted it to be. I forgot to set the minimum height of the image, which is what I needed to do to set the height properly. Now, the last thing for me to do is show you the custom trigger. Here I am back in the editor, and let's go ahead and add that after this video. Let me hide the video. And here is the block Presto pop-up, and I'm just gonna add this right under, right above the video, how about that? And then I'm gonna click on custom. I'll choose my media, the same video. What's really cool here is when you click in this area that says type slash to choose a block, I can literally go like this and any single block that I have can become the trigger that will display the video pop-up when it's clicked on. And that is Presto pop-ups. Built into Presto Player, effortlessly add video pop-ups to your website, but don't forget you also get all the power of Presto Player inside of that video pop-up. If you wanna understand insights with watch time, how many people watch the video, the entire feature suite of Presto Player is now available inside of video pop-ups on your website. Let us know how you're gonna use these new Presto pop-ups on your website. Thanks for watching, we've got more coming. Stay tuned to the channel, subscribe. Thanks for watching.